start off this week's drought monitor with a check of the regional drought monitor. You can see a lot of the central plains dealing with some sort of drought condition. As of this week, one thing to keep in mind, this only it takes into account conditions through 8 a.m. Tuesday morning, so it doesn't account for any rain that we got past 8 a.m. Tuesday morning. We'll likely see some bigger changes to our drought monitor as we look ahead toward next week. But there were some improvements across parts of Nebraska, mainly parts of central Nebraska, some improvements in portions of that area, but then also parts of southern Nebraska and northern Kansas. Some areas had worsening conditions when it comes to the drought conditions. So we still have some exceptional drought highlighted in that maroon shading from South Sioux City area down toward Norfolk as well as Columbus. Then southwest Nebraska down in northwest Kansas, some areas in that too. The red is extreme drought that's ongoing, severe drought highlighted in orange, moderate drought in the tan shading, and then outlining that abnormally dry conditions highlighted in the yellow. So let's look ahead for May. So in terms of May temperatures, how they average out the central plains, we are looking at equal chances, no strong signals for above or below average, but you can see a wide area across the south stretching farther to the north toward the Great Lakes, likely to see those temperatures averaging out below normal. That includes portions of the west coast too. They are going to see that as well while portions of the northwest likely to see the opposite above normal temperatures when you average out the entire month of May in those numbers. That includes Florida too, portions of New England states as well. Now as we look ahead towards precipitation, below average precipitation forecast from the northern plains down to parts of Nebraska and then down in parts of Kansas too. This is for the entire month of May and then that stretches off to our east as well. While the southern plains, Texas, and then parts of the south, looking at that possibility for above average precipitation, parts of the west coast and other parts of the western part of the U.S., looking at the possibility for above average precipitation when you factor in those main numbers. Now for May, June, July, so farther out, we are looking at above average temperatures likely from the east coast, stretching toward the south, parts of Kansas too, and then a small area of the northwest likely to see that too. Now for May, June, July precipitation, above average precipitation forecast for parts of the south from Florida and then a little bit farther to the north parts of the Midwest too. Northwest part of the U.S. likely to see below average precipitation and parts of the southwest likely to see that too in the coming months. Anywhere not shaded, equal chances. So that includes a lot of Nebraska. There's a small sliver of southeast Nebraska and eastern Kansas, but a lot of Nebraska and northern Kansas looking at equal chances for the next three months. Let's talk about our almanac for this week. 71, our normal high, normal low right around 48. Week ahead average high above that right around 76. Week ahead average low right around 50. And then our proverb for this week, May thunderstorms in May and the farmer sings hey, hey. That's a check of your grow weather forecast. We'll have another update coming up next week. Whether you're on the planter or you've been branding, we want to see your pictures. Go to our website, Nebraska.tv, and chime in.